Morning everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119, also HarbachElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, so we have a Ameritron AL811H that came in. I worked on a different amp for this customer a long while back, and he did not tell me that he messed with it. Okay, so make it clear again if some weird mods been done I you need to talk to me before I agree to work on it because now I have to do extra stuff to this which increases the price and it's just I'd rather not do it you know so I'll go over everything he added these LEDs and some of them run off a couple at least run off 120 or a few two I think two of them and instead of connecting back to the neutral they're connected right to the chassis not, uh, not supposed to do that and then the solder work is just really bad There's electrical tape just a mess um, he did the same thing on his last one with this there's a name for it, but it's like a computer type plug receptacle, like IBM, I think, or I don't know if that's what it's called, but IBM type plug, or I'm sure there's another name for it, but punched around hole, put the spade connections on and they're loose, so I'll try to carefully, I'll cut them back, strip them, and try to solder them on there, you know. So, so now I got to take care of all that first, and then take the socket assembly out and do everything I do underneath the sockets. You know, take the can't tell if it has metal oxide. No, I don't think it has. Yeah, there's a met, one metal oxide varistor, and then has the gas discharge tube on the board, I believe. Yeah, I'll take that off. I'll put the gas discharge tubes under the sockets. He also added more LEDs, has the LEDs within the meter movements, and he also added more up top. So, okay, so I'm going to get to work. So, please like, share, and subscribe. These are rigid, really rigid. Place the straps. And so I'll get to work and I'll see you guys in a bit. Stay tuned. And I'll also change the SO239s with ones from Max Gain Systems. These ones always, they always fail. They use cruddy connectors at the factory. So one's not great, the other one is good, but not worth taking the chance. I go through it all while it's here. Okay, so I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Okay, so the bottom's done. Added the uh, two gas discharge tubes. Fixed a bunch of solder joints. Compressed the socket clips. And grounded the grid connection right to the metal. Okay, so I'm going to get back to work. See you guys soon. So the amp's done. I shoot a video of it working on 40 meters. That's where the customer wants the test video. You got the amp on, you got the settings and everything. Plugged up the other holes. The LED for the key indicator. Radio's on 40 meters. Uh, audio tit 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 around 50 watts. That's a 1kW slug. Bird 43p. Peak meter is on. Going into a bird attenuator load. Audio hello, audio hello, hello, hello. 800 on the button, actually here over. Audio hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, hello. Audio hello, hello. Play current right there. Audio hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. And it's working as it should. Okay, so I will take the cover off and show you the inside. I'll be back.
Do a quick video of the inside real quick. First off, got brand new SO239s from Max Gain Systems, high quality Teflon ones. The coils for the parasitic board were way off, so I replaced them. The plate two and air variable cap set screws for the gear reduction drive were loose, so a lot of times the capacitor would not turn in sync with the knob. So I tightened those, the meter protection diode was shorted. Uh, two of the screws used to ground the grids were loose underneath the tube sockets, but I always uh, connect them directly to the chassis, so they're, as you saw in the last video, uh, put a longer screw in the plate choke, added the gas discharge tubes, got rid of those, those LEDs, put the proper LED in, re uh, fixed all the solder work, soldered the wires directly to that receptacle, or actually plug whatever, uh, it's a, uh, would that be considered a uh, female, no male, male plug, whatever, anyway, <laughs> I get up at 4.15, so I'm, I'm a little tired now, so anyway, it's been working, working, working. I also looked at a TL922, I want to bring that up, a uh, TL922, but it needs too much, customer decided to not follow through, so I worked on that first, then this, Waiting on a part for a SB1000, which should be here today or tomorrow, and then I'll get that finished. That's all done. I tested it, but the static plate current's too high um, because of the shorted Zener. And I have another 922 in the box. Okay, so back to this. So, got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Customer provided the tubes. And uh, that's about it. So... Need an app repaired? Feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. Have a great day and keep them coming. 73.